Uh, oh, yes, before this gets too stale, we have a thing to look at. People have been talking about this bridge. This is the, the real Bridges podcast. Okay. Bridge in Baltimore got hit by a ship. The bridge went boom. People died. And it is insane, actually. So this is seven minutes long, so you can see the ship coming out on from the left here. Um, now apparently there was some kind of power failure, some kind of mechanical failure on the ship itself. The ship is called the Dally. On its website, Synergy Marine Group describes itself as a leading ship manager, knowing that it has 660 vessels under technical management. We handle a wide variety of vessels, the company adds. Although headquartered in Singapore, the group is pre uh, present worldwide with offices in 14 countries. And we'll just watch this quickly because this is kind of this is kind of insane if no one's seen this yet. I think the craziest thing about this is like this the ships pass under this all the time. Like this this could hypothetically happen whenever. It, it's kind of astonishing. You never really think about it that way. Um Big Boy. Big boat. There's uh, traffic on here, but not a ton, which is good. God, I'm watching. I'm watching this car here just with intense anxiety. You need to get to the other side of that bridge. Come on. Come on. You can do it. I think I think he's gonna make it. That truck makes it. That car makes it. Good. This is probably one of the most surreal uh, videos I've ever seen. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, oh, that car right there. Oh, it's bad. Very bad timing. Come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, content warning, guys. Obviously. It's distanced, but still happening. And it just rams right into the uh, support pillar, I guess. I don't, I don't know what it's called exactly. Oh, it's going to make it. It's so lucky the bridge seems to be, like, relatively, like, unpopulated when this happens. Because imagine if this was rush hour. This would have been a catastrophe. Oh, good, he made it. Wow, all that traffic that went across it, now there's none. I was about to say lucky, now two more cars come on. Three more. But, like, that boat's lights look like they're off. Like, it looks like it has no... There's nothing going on there. There's no... There's very little in the way of, like, external lights. The ship sent a mayday. Really? That's interesting. They had, like, five minutes of notice from the ship SOS. That's not a lot of time. That's a big bridge. Oh, here we go. God, look at that. Oh, and there's cars right there, too. God damn. Because it's 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 held aloft by the, um, the metal threads, right? Whatever you call them, the, the wire. So if that support goes, the whole thing goes. <sighs> How do you even do a rescue in this? Like, there would be so much debris... Total power failure. We have some sources on this, so we'll look at those. There's been some conspiracy mongering about this on multiple levels. There's been, um, like the racial one, obviously. It's called the Dolly. Uh, it's based in Singapore. I think there was, I think it's, um, I think the ship is Indian. I could be wrong about that. But, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you an example of what I'm talking about, so you can get the idea just by looking at it, like "Good Morning Baltimore" by Pixar or DreamWorks, I guess. Like the ship was piloted by a local crew. Um, it wasn't 
it wasn't piloted by Indians or people from Singapore, wherever. It was piloted by a local crew. Yeah, here we go. So there's an article here from Forbes. Economic impact of the Baltimore uh, bridge collapse will lead to more inflation. Um, it says here, the cargo ship Dolly was Singapore flagged, so Singapore flagged, and managed by Synergy Marine, but was chartered by Maersk and carrying Maersk cargo, I think I'm pronouncing that right, Maersk cargo en route to Sri Lanka, meaning that multiple countries, companies, and jurisdictions will be involved in an investigation to establish legal liability that will likely result in a significant loss and damage in the hundreds of millions or even more, given that they will likely face some penalty, although it will be some time before liability is established and certainly feel an impact from this incident. Maersk's share price fell by almost 7% this morning. Um, this would have been the day after. Um, Dolly was carrying around 4,900 containers when it collided with the bridge around 1.30 a.m., while under pilotage by local port workers, disrupting not just its own delivery to Sri Lanka, but also the port operations and the traffic flow on surrounding roadways, which is bad on the best of days. So I think the implication is going to be that it was um, it was a, ma a failure to maintain the ship itself. The Dolly itself was under maintenance, and that account would account for the... Um, the mechanical failure that resulted in the loss of control and the crash into the bridge. Given the recent attacks by Houthi rebels on container ships in the Red Sea, additional price pressure is expected on an industry that will have no choice but to pass these on to their customers who will pass them on to uh, end consumers. Six construction workers who were already filling, uh, who were filling potholes on the bridge were still missing Tuesday afternoon and presumed dead, according to AP News. Um... What's the, uh, what's the infrastructural cost of this going to be? So this is the bridge that was. It was, uh, began construction in 1972. Is there like a map here? Um, in the 1960s, the old Maryland State Roads Commission concluded there was a need for a second harbor crossing after the earlier Baltimore Harbor, uh, throughway and tunnel opened in 1957, which apparently are, like, constantly, um, constantly, like, clogged up during rush hour already so i don't want to be you don't want to be working there if you have to cross the uh what the channel what, what, what do you call it so that's the container ship Here, i'm gonna make myself small again can you imagine what that would feel like being on it with how fast that went that would have been unreal yeah people were talking about so apparently they received a mayday and people were asking like why didn't they remove the dock workers like five minutes is not a long time to get off a bridge that size and presumably the workers are on foot they'd have to run to their cars they might not even like five minutes five minutes is you get the call then you have to hit an alarm then you have to contact everybody then you have to make sure everybody's like on their way out they're not lollygagging grabbing belongings whatever they're not fuddling with keys if they have a vehicle. Like, some workers commute to work or they park off the bridge, right? Or maybe they, I don't know, maybe they have, like, little, like, carts or something they use to get across, but five minutes is not a long time. Five minutes goes very fast. Oh, this is good. Oh, oh, this actually might be really useful. There's a small YouTuber here who gives a breakdown. Hey, okay. what's going on? And it's short. It is blissfully short. Fantastic. Okay. Hey, what's going on with shipping? So a quick update here. I uh, want to show you the video of the track line of MV Dolly as it leaves the berth here at the Port of Baltimore. So here is Dolly. There will be two tugs, Bridget and Eric McAllister, that are going to come in and take the ship off the berth. You see its track line here as it heads out. I'm going to go ahead and let this play. I've got it sped up here a little bit so that you'll be able to see it go here a little bit faster than normal. Two tugs come in and they get the vessel off and the ship is going to head out into the track here. I'm going to pause it right here and we're going to go ahead and reset here. Dolly is coming down her track just as you expect. The two tugs leave her. Not unusual. We see that happen all the time. She is in the channel. Now, this channel is, is can channel. be used okay, for two, two, yeah. two ships at a time, but they usually like to just do one. And so you see one ship. She is a little bit on the left side of the lane, just a little bit off center, but that is... Apparently some of the workers have been in their cars trying to warm up. Fucking hell. Imagine how cold that water was then. 
Uh, Smith Black, thanks for the five dollars. This is what happens when you have DEI some right wing chud theory. Well, that's that's what the reaction is. But I think it's been mostly based off the fact that the um, the ship is called the Dali and it's uh, registered to Singapore. Um, but that's that's kind of neither here nor there. It was being uh, crewed by local port workers, and it was a mechanical failure. Um, and it seems like, given how much time took place, they actually acted pretty quickly. The uh, the people who were operating the ship. So you, I think what what most stands out about this is the um, the desire to pin this on uh, a, a racial thing because it's it's often like couched in like kind of a tragic sort of like look we're just facing reality guys there are just differences in how people are you know educated how they're acculturated maybe there's like caps and IQ or whatever but then there's a desperate leap to assign anything immediately to that so it's just it's, it's gross it's it's just really fucking gross fine She's doing about six, speeding up here to about seven, eight knots. I'm going to go ahead and readjust. So here is the key bridge right here. And this is where I want to kind of get this coincided with what's going on. All right, on the left is marine traffic. On the right is the live feed that we have from the Port of Baltimore. Okay, I tried to sync this up the best I could. The videos are not running at exactly the same moment. But this is the moment that we see Dolly lose power. She goes dark in the video up here. She is out without power at this time. I didn't notice that. That's interesting. So the, the let's see here. So we go over here. Oh, I didn't even notice the lights originally. Yeah, look at that. The same moment. But this is just total power. Oh, that's crazy. The moment that we see Dolly lose power. She goes dark in the video up here. She is out without power at this time. You see the vessel is progressing right here at about 8.5 knots. And she's heading for the key bridge at this moment. And again, one of the things that we're not sure about here is what is causing the power outage on the vessel. Uh, is it mechanical? Is it computer? Is it fuel? We just don't know. But the ship goes completely dark. And let me be clear, the worst feeling ever on a ship is to lose power. Everything gets quiet. S silence is the enemy on a ship. That means everything has gone wrong. So here we see the vessel coming out. It had just come from the secret terminal, which you can see right behind it. Uh, secret. She was actually up on this berth right over here where the cranes are. Uh, Awfully bad timing to lose power right there when you're already on a collision course with the bridge. Huh? Uh, just underneath the center part of the bridge, uh, and she's coming down. So she's still progressing down. She's doing about 8.5 knots at this point, and she is coming down the channel. Now, I got this playing at basically real time. Uh, we're going to go ahead and speed it up here in a minute, but I want to get to the point where she will get her power back on. And as she progresses... What did actually cause this? Was it just an act of God, basically, or is there a way to prevent it from happening again? Well, I don't know. Progresses, we'll see the lights come back on with the vessel. Now, at this moment, there's a big question about whether or not the ship has rudder control. This is the key thing. If the ship does not have rudder control, then the ship is careening out of control. There's nothing you can do. Uh, the ship would have an anchor ready to drop. You would have a crew up on the bow. But the question is, is that crew still there? Are they standing by? They should be in place until they get out past the bridge and the channel. There is a Maryland Bay pilot on board advising the ship's master. Right at this moment, hopefully, they're calling out uh, issues on Channel 16 and the other hailing channels that they'll be using to tell them to be aware. They will have portable radios, so they don't need the ship's radio. Here you see the power come back on the vessel. So now uh, Dolly has power back on. She is starting to drift. If you look at uh, marine traffic here, she is starting to drift toward the uh, south side of the channel at this point. So she is beginning her movement. Remember, this is a vessel that is about 100,000 tons. So a substantial size vessel. It will have a lot of momentum on her. And if they had lost power, then the rudder would not be answering. So wherever that rudder was, even if the rudder was dead center, it's not providing any maneuverability because you have torque from the propeller. The propeller is going to want to twist the ship. Now we're seeing smoke belching out of the, the ship. 
here's the smoke coming out. What we tend to think is this is the ship starting to back down. Uh, they will try to get way off the ship. And that's going to be an indication we're going to see here if the ship begins to slow down. So I got it running now. It's a little bit off sync. Uh, it's just not quite uh, chime, uh, timed in exactly. We're lagging behind on the video. The but dolly's a little green line right there. You can see my mouse. What you do see is the ship is starting to lose way. It's starting to come off. It's down to 7.6 knots. Now the ship... Here's the thing. Yeah, it's more uh, likely it's just negligence and repairs, but killing a ship's systems in a harbor would be an easy attack. Just kill the power and let it drift. They wouldn't name it. The thing of it is, is that if it's a terrorist attack, if you don't claim it, it's useless. It's just an accident. So, like, anything's possible, but typically if there's a terrorist attack, the point is to instill terror of the movement that is initiating it. So, it's it's like in um, Doctor Strangelove, right? It's like, at the end of it, he's like, so you develop this ultimate weapon. But this is completely useless if you, if nobody knows about it. It has no deterrent value. Why didn't you tell the world? That's exactly like here. If if a terrorist attack isn't claimed by any party, it has no value. Um, or it's not a terrorist attack. There's something else going on. But ship is coming out of the channel at this point and still has a lot of way on. That could be just a little bit of loss there by maneuverability. We know she drops her port anchor. We just don't know when she drops the port anchor. And again, more black smoke coming out of the vessel. This is either an engine failure or the, the issue of the ship trying to uh, back down. God, imagine being like the crew of that and just panicking right now. Like, that's got to be... And then you have the strike up against the bridge. That's where you see the speed come off to about 1.5 knots there. And on the video, you will see the ship. There'll be a big splash in front of the vessel as it hits that piling. Okay, and so we saw that already. So let's jump over here. What's this map? What's he showing us? This is current marine traffic right now. You'll see vessels that are on scene here, Coast Guard cutters, tugs, and barges. And if you zoom out here a little bit, uh, I'll show you the impact this is going to have. So that's the Patasco River. That's the river heading up into the region. All the ships that are now in Baltimore are trapped in Baltimore. They cannot get out. Uh, that means that vessels that are in there are going to have to wait for the key bridge to be cleared. And obviously that's going to be a long uh, prospect because of the casualties associated with and it. And the debris, like just the sheer debris. It's going to like you're, you'll you'll risk damaging your ship going through, I imagine. No. You have vessels just below the Bay Bridge here waiting to get up into Baltimore. Uh, a lot of these are contained. The Baltimore Harbor two years ago, we had classified intelligence that a new Metal Gear was scheduled for transport. The whole thing stank, but our noses had been out in the cold too long. Jesus Christ. Um, Right-wingers say the bridge collapsed because Peter Buttigieg is gay. Well, that checks out, doesn't it? Even George Santos joined in the frenzy of conservatives saying the bridge collapsed because Buttigieg talked about racism in 2021. Well, that's not exactly the same thing as being gay. Come on. What does journalism come to? Maryland Governor Westmore said the bridge was up to code. He just couldn't withstand the impact of being hit by such a big ship. Buttigieg has already gone to Baltimore to survey the damage, and President Joe Biden said that the federal government will pay to rebuild the bridge. But that didn't stop right-wingers from finding ways to blame the left, particularly Buttigieg, for the disaster. Quote, Secretary of Transportation Peter Buttigieg to address Baltimore Bridge collapse as soon as he's done chest feeding. One popular conservative X account posted. Wow, that's uh, firing on all cylinders, aren't we? The left's going to have to up its game keeping up with uh, comedic genius like that. Homophobic conservatives have been saying that Buttigieg chest or breastfeeds his kids for years as an anti-gay joke. Um, yeah, that's That's not a... It's not a gay thing, guys. Don't know how to explain that to you. Disgraced former Congress member uh, George Santos, that's a hell of a epithet, decided he was, quote, revoking Pete's gay card, unquote. After someone else shared a clip of Buttigieg talking about how historically road projects have divided communities of color. The 2021 clip is being shared by many on the right today because he specifically used an example of a bridge, although it has nothing to do with this disaster or this bridge. 
Leaving aside the fact, once again, that the ship was piloted by locals when it when it went down. When it crashed into the bridge. Not the, the did I say the bridge was piloted? The, the ship. <sighs> be, de, be gay, do crime. Yes, indeed, brother. Yeah. Sam Cedar surveyed these, apparently. Let's just watch that, and then we'll call it. We don't need to spend all day doing uh, bridge stuff. It is fascinating. In the wake of this uh, bridge collapsing in Baltimore, six people presumed dead, six of them who were hired by, I think, you know, probably contracted company to fill potholes on the bridge. Don't know all the details of these workers. Um, most of them, my understanding is, of Central American the background. Don't know uh, when uh, they came to the States. At least one of them uh, was a 19-year Baltimore resident. And instead of... Wait, why would people go be going after the bridge workers? The bridge workers didn't do anything wrong. The bridge workers were just working. They weren't piloting the ship. Looking at the fundamental issue that you have a behemoth of a shipping uh, company, which has in the past been cited by the federal government for labor practices that have prevented essentially whistleblowers from going to the government and saying, we got a problem with some of the safety on these ships. And there's no indication that one of those problems caused this, though it very well may have. But the point being that you have a ship this large rounding up against a bridge that was not built for impact by a ship this large and we as a society absorbing the externalities that this company um, essentially uh, offloads on society to increase their profit margin it's got thorazine or something it's going so slow today um let's see here an aggregate of conspiracy theories. Social media accounts spew conspiracy theories about key bridge collapse. Of course, there are blue checked accounts farming engagement by blaming the Jews for the Baltimore collapse. This was not an accident. Israel cancels its visit to Washington after the U.S. allows the U.N. Gaza ceasefire resolution to pass. And then the Francis Scott Bridge in Baltimore is attacked. This is not a coincidence, nor was it an accident. Unbelievable. Pure co-dash incident? The U.S. allows the United Nations ceasefire resolution. Israel cancels Washington visit after U.S. allows U.N. Gaza ceasefire resolution. Blows up the Dali Bridge without explanation. Not the Dali Bridge. Blows up the... I'm so tired. Blows up the Baltimore Bridge. And doesn't claim responsibility. Those those bastards. What? what did... So Israel did it. Okay. Okay. That checks out. What else have we got? Uh, <laughs> oh, this is a good one. Um, Matt Schlepp on Newsmax admits he's no expert, but tries to blame the Baltimore Bridge collapse on drug-addled employees and COVID lockdowns. There, but what kind of questions... Do you want to see answered, Matt? Well, you know, as I said, you look at our critical infrastructure, and I, I'm one of these people that believes we've never fully come out of all the lockdowns and the and the COVID issues. And you can look at whether you look at our air traffic controllers, where we have critical mission problems with filling slots. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I'm no expert on what's going on on the seas, but all I would say is is that uh, if you talk to employers, but what of the D's, sir? In America they'll tell you that uh, filling slots with employees who aren't drug adled is a very huge drug adled problem. So I'm making no specific charges here because we don't know. Right. But uh, you know, anybody who flies in America can see okay. that you're constantly waiting on a tarmac somewhere for some crew to show up. There's mm -hmm. more uh, maintenance problems than we've ever had, which I think are euphemisms for the problems that I've described. And uh, you know, sometimes they can't even get Oh, the, the 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 maintenance problems would be companies don't want to spend the enormous amount of money on maintaining old ships, and this ship's old, by the way. Let's let's see the actual. We have a we have a doc here on the history of the ship. 
I just exited it. Why did I do that? Ah! Oh, I had it open, then I exited out of it. Why? Ha <laughs> ha! Hee hee, ho ho. Okay. I, I had read somewhere I had heard that it had actually had a similar incident in 2016. Here we go. Baltimore Bridge Collapse wasn't the first major accident for giant container ship Dolly. The ship in Tuesday's crash, this is from USA Today, the ship in Tuesday's crash Dolly was involved in at least one prior accident when it collided with a shipping pier in Belgium. The 2016 incident occurred as the Dolly was leaving port in Antwerp and struck a loading pier made of stone, causing damage to the ship's stern, according to uh, VesselFinder.com, a site that tracks ships across the world. An investigation determined a mistake uh, made by the ship's master and pilot was to blame. That's not particularly interesting, though, because this was a power failure. This wasn't human error, as far as we can tell. How can you not be drug-addled? You know what sounds like being drug-addled is seeing a... Uh, a ship have an engine malfunction and immediately going to oh they they probably were just they probably just couldn't hire a crew that wasn't on cocaine <laughs>